Good afternoon, third gen fans. Uh, here we are at the gas station getting ready to start a short data logging session. Got Tuner Pro RT on the laptop hooked up to the third gen Camaro by way of the Motes ALDU1 cable uh, plugged into the data port. Um, and let's see if I can reach around the camera here. And what we're first going to do, let's turn the key on on the car. Got that in the run position. We're gonna bring the cursor up here to the top. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not, but take my word for it, I'm clicking a button that says acquire data. And it still says not connected. Let's try to turn the key off. Let's turn the key back on. Try that again. It says connecting down here. There it is, connected. All right, that's what we want. And if we want to log this, we bring the cursor over here and touch this red button. It's like any video recording button. And click the red button. And it says down here, log recording. And uh, for entertainment purposes, let's launch our dashboard. I've set up six gauges here. Let's see if I can get the camera pointed so that you can see them. Hopefully it will hold okay right over here we've got the vehicle speed engine speed temperature o2 sensor idle air control uh position and you can't see it real good but it's over here the injector pulse width i'm not sure how relevant that is to our study here um anyhow i'm sitting here at the gas station i've been running the car for about a half hour with the key on, I'm looking at the dash gauge. And by the way, this dash gauge came from a V8 car. Um, the needle is reading just above the 220 mark. Whereas over here on our Tuner Pro screen, it says 170. Honestly, I don't think either one of them are right. I think the dash gauge is reading a little high and I think the number that Tuner Pro is reporting is a little low. Uh, I'll just go on the record as having said that. Um, I wish there was a way to know for sure uh, what the coolant temperature is. Uh, maybe at some point I'll figure out a way to use a uh, infrared sensor and uh, shine. All right, resuming this video, let's see if we can get this party started. Um, the iPhone's getting hot and it's cutting off on me while we're parked here uh, because it's hot inside this car. So let's fire it up. Yeah, you can see you got engine speed, idle air controls moving around, O2 sensors moving around, but we're stationary. We need to get some air moving before it gets hot again and overheats my phone, makes it cut off. Just going to do a short little run here. Pulling out of the gas station, first gear.
show one more time. Right now, Tuna Pro is saying temperature is 172. My dash gauge is saying closer to 240. So again, I say, I believe the dash gauge reads high. I believe Tuna Pro reads low. So somewhere between 240 and 177 is where the motor probably is. If I had to guess, given today's hot conditions and the way I've been driving it, I'd say the motor's probably running about 220 to 230. Would be my best educated guess of what the actual coolant temperature is. Tuner Pro over here, you can see 178, almost 180. I think that's considerably low. But my dash gauge, by contrast, is reading almost into the red, which I don't believe it's that hot. jumped around like crazy. It went from double digits up to over 250 miles an hour when I was only going in second gear and I know it wasn't going much more than 30. So we have conquered the vehicle speed sensor anomaly at least. Um, we've got a temperature gauge that at least moves. We've got a tachometer at least moves on the dash so I'm very glad that I put this V8 gauge cluster in this car um, at least we've got movement <laughs> um, whether it's giving us good data for data logging purposes I don't know um, and really at the end of the day for tuning uh, the thing that you're looking at the most is right over here in this corner see where I'm pointing there's your O2 sensor all right it's telling you whether you're rich or lean 450 is perfect, okay, and you can see right here at idle, it's jumping around, uh, and I just heard the fans kick on, that's interesting, all right, the fans just kicked on, and on the dash, it looks like the needle is going down, let's see whether over here on the screen, the coolant temperature drops, and it is, good. So these gauges are responsive. Whether the numbers are accurate or not, I, well, I'm pretty sure they're not, uh, you know, but it, it's at least a number, <laughs> that helps at all. Um, fan on, you can see the temperature's going down. I can see the needle.
vehicle dropping on my dash. So that's interesting too. Rev it just a couple of times just to see what happens on the screen here. All right, and gonna pull in the driveway and put her to bed for the night. So this was fun. Um, Tuner Pro functioned. Whether I'm getting accurate numbers, well, it's just reading whatever the ECM is telling it, and I don't know. ECM's telling it the truth or not. And it's also reading what the tachometer is telling it. Or information from the vehicle speed sensor or something to that effect. Um, so, hey, um, that's the report for today. Thanks for hanging out with me.